Hey guys, Plant Based Gabriel here, and today we've got another holiday inspired plant based vegan recipe. This is a whole food plant based bread pudding. Now, all we're gonna need for this recipe is a baking dish. I like my square glass baking dish for this. We're also gonna need one. French baguette, now this is a whole wheat loaf of bread. Uh, it does not have to be whole wheat, but uh, make sure it's oil-free and vegan, as this is. We also are gonna need two cups of a plant-based milk. I'm using my walnut milk. We've got a half of a cup of a maple syrup. Now, if you do not like maple syrup, you can always use something like agave as another sweetener. We're also gonna need a fourth of a cup of cornstarch, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then another teaspoon of cinnamon. Now I'm gonna bring you guys in here and we're gonna go ahead and get started on this recipe. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do for this recipe is we're gonna take our baguette and we are just going to go ahead and cut it into around a fourth of an inch to a half inch cube. So I'm gonna go ahead and get cutting. Right, we've got our pieces cut up into around a fourth of an inch to half inch pieces. Now I will say this was a baguette that was a couple days old, so it was a little crispy. If you get a fresh baguette, you can always go ahead and put it in the oven at about 250 for like 20 minutes to just uh, crisp it up a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, bring our, our baking dish over and get started with the rest of our recipe. All right, now we've got our baking dish. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put this here. Now next we're going to take our two cups of a plant-based milk and we're going to mix that with our cornstarch. Now we want to make sure that that milk is cold so that the cornstarch mixes nicely but we're going to go ahead and make sure that gets mixed in there and that's what's really going to help give us a good uh, thick consistency when everything is said and done after it's done cooking. So I am mixing that and once the cornstarch is dissolved, that should be good right there. Next, I'm just gonna take in the rest of my ingredients. We've got our vanilla extract. We have our cinnamon. And then we have a half a cup of our maple syrup. Now, I like to go in, mix this up before I mix it with the bread. And you'll notice I have it in the glass baking dish because it can get a little messy. But I just want that cinnamon to get mixed in there nicely. Awesome. <laughs> You're gonna have a little bit that stays there towards the top, but that's okay. That'll get baked into it. Next, we're just gonna pour it in. Perfect. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our breadcrumbs. So we want them to soak up all that delicious maple syrup, that plant-based milk creaminess, and that cinnamon. And again, we're just going to go in Stir it up. I want them to soak up as much as possible. And it looks a little runny now. Don't worry. As it gets baking, it will thicken up. Now I will mention I have the oven preheated to 375 degrees. And that is what we're gonna be baking that at. Once you feel like the bread has kind of soaked up everything, I like to go in and press it down a good little bit just to make sure that we don't have too much towards the top so that there's not any burning and just to make sure all the bread gets nice and saturated that looks good now we are going to take this over to the oven and uh, get this in all right and as i said a moment ago our oven has been preheated to 375 and we're going to bake this bread pudding for 35 to 40 minutes. I like to go ahead and check at 35 minutes, and if it needs a few more, we'll go all the way to 40. So I'm gonna get this baking, and I'll see you guys when that is done. All right, our timer just went off. 40 minutes is up, and let's check on this bread pudding. Oh, that smells absolutely heavenly. I'm gonna get the kitchen cleaned up a little bit. I'm gonna let this cool off on the countertop, and I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, guys, I got the kitchen tidied up. I'm here with my whole food plant-based vegan bread pudding. And I've got to say, I just cut through it and it looks like a dish full of ooey gooey deliciousness. Bread pudding was always one of my favorites growing up. Uh, but of course it was filled with uh, 
animal fat and butter and oils and everything you could think of that's not healthy, where this is filled up with some more healthy uh, deliciousness, more of a treat, but it is not going to compromise your health. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. You can see it turned out perfect. The top got a nice little crisp layer and it just, uh, just soaked through the base of it. like custard it is absolutely wonderful you guys have got to give this a try impress your in-laws impress your family they don't even have to know it's whole food plant-based for them to enjoy it this much and you'll enjoy it even better knowing that it is though i really hope you guys give this a try if you do please let me know how it goes in the comment section below if you're on facebook please go ahead i would really love it if you gave this video and my page, Plant Based Gabriel, a like, as well as the YouTube channel, Plant Based Gabriel. And as always, this recipe, all my past recipes and future recipes will be on plantbasedgabriel.com. I am Plant Based Gabriel, thanking you so much for watching, and I hopefully will see you very, very soon.